Man, what was that release? The Air Jordan 4 Purple Canyon or Canyon Purple drop was crazy. I don't think they wanted us to get them, shout out, you feel me? Bigfoot is definitely when 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 supposed to be getting them. You know what I'm saying? Size 13 and a half women's men size 12. I tried for, and a lot of people tried for, and errors kept popping up. Error after error. I was like, bro, this release is an error. Hey, you talking about? Anyway, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day to day Saturday, release day Saturday. Like I said, the Canyon Fours dropped this morning. I took an L like plenty of others did. I don't think it was meant for me to get them for retail. And that side 13 and a half going for like 500. Look like one I won't be getting here. You talking about let somebody look out for me. Um, But meanwhile, I was going to do a vlog today and see if they were sitting at the mall. But I decided, let me go ahead and drop this early review for y'all. I got these from the UK site, uh, Size size question mark and I didn't know it say JD Sports and size on the package so I didn't know uh, that JD Sports must have bought size too I know they bought finish line and JD Sports taking over everybody so I think they bought DTLR too did they buy DTLR or Jimmy Jack they bought somebody anyway the takeover in sneakers here you talking about um real quick before I unbox the shoe I know a lot of people was asking about this T right here and sadly to say, I wasn't trying to be shady or nothing. I actually did put the link to their website in that video, the last video I did, the uh, Clark Atlanta dunk. It was a limited run. The final farewell game, Kobe guy, it was a limited run. Crazy part about this, um, Anti Merch actually reached out to me after they saw that video. They actually saw the video and they reached out to me. And they might start sending me some things. So, some good came out of that. I, got, I mean, for me, I mean, he ain't talking about it. But, like I said, man, and I'm going to try to uh, see if they can I don't know, man. We're going we gonna to try to see if we can work out some discounts or something like that with them coming up. We'll, we'll see how that go down. But anyway, like I said, sorry, this shirt right here was limited and it's over with, shout it. But uh, I'm sure they're going to have some more stuff coming out soon, bro. Uh, speaking of this shirt, this early shoe actually goes perfect with this shirt. I feel like this shoe will sit because of the silhouette. Um, And I also feel like it might go to the outlets or something. Like that. I like it, and I ain't seen it in the hand yet. I, I, I bust open the side of this box just to make sure I got the right size because the sizes are different in the UK. I got a size 11 UK, which is a 12 um, US, so it should be easy open to open the box. Just gotta crack it up, open a little bit more. Not reusing that box, what you talking about? Anyway, the shoes, man. So I did cop these, uh, they came quick. Like, I bought these shoes, and I bought a, um, a pair of Nike for my wife, some Air Max, and these got here first. And I think I think that I, I copped Air Max a day after I caught these, and these come all the way from London, from the UK, and they got here quicker than a pair from Nike that's right in Memphis, like right up the street, walking distance. What are you talking about? But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this shoe, man. Woo! Yes, sir. Ski. Air Jordan box. A couple of Air Jordans come in this box. 10s, 7s, uh, 11s. I think they put 11s in this box still. Uh, the official name is Air Jordan 7 Retro SE. Official colorway is Vachetta Tan, Black, and Taxi. Uh, I like it had some purple in there too. I ain't seen them in hand yet. Size 12, so I actually, it says enter your UK size on the website. I enter the size 11. UK, which is like I said, the size of 12. Let's see what these things hitting on me. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Vachetta tan. Look at the purple. Look at the boy. Tell me they don't go with the Lakers guy. But look, hold up. These. Uh oh. Uh oh. They might have messed up. And I know people gonna sleep on these, man. Just cause they sevens. But boy. <laughs> oh my God. These are fresh, bro. These are fresh. These are fresh. <laughs> the 
Air Jordan 7 Afro Beats. Now, I have not done a whole lot of research on how this pertains to Afrobeats. I've heard a couple of Afrobeats songs. Yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a big Afrobeats fan, but they, 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 it's dope, it's dope. Um, but this shoe is fire. I don't care what nobody say. I like them. Oh man, they, they even better in hand, man. The shape, it seemed like every Jordan 7 that dropped, they're getting closer and closer to the OG shape. We might be there. I hear you talking about these is hard, man. I'm going to go, I'm going to do a quick review on them, man. These are crazy. Like, real, one thing I'm because I probably will forget to mention this. So, one thing I want to uh, point out is that this got the bin, is it the bin 7 that got this kind of design on the side that's similar to that? Or the murals. No, it's a BN7, I think. So I just wanted to say that real quick. The whole shoe is that for cheddar tan leather. You know what I'm saying? That's so buttery. 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 And I like when they do different things with sevens, man. Because, I mean, it's, this shoe actually just seems like a collab. Since SE was, what SE means special editions, I don't know. But um, it, it got very heavy collab vibes. And I know, like I said, as dope as this shoe is, just because it's a seven, I feel like it's gonna fly under the radar, man. These might go to outlets, go on sale, all that stuff, just because they sevens. And they the retail was like $200, I think, too. So that's another reason. Um, let me look on Nike sneakers. Let me see how much the retail is on there. So actually, the retail is two hundred and ten dollars, and that further drives my point. The, and I and I think it's just because it's premium quality materials on there. Why the price is so much? But these are gonna sit. They're probably gonna go to outlets. That's just my opinion. Just because they sevens, man. I just know how y'all treat sevens out there. And two hundred and ten dollars is, you know, what I'm saying I pay retail too, but with shipping and all that stuff, they came out to like two thirty five or something like that. But uh, anyway. Let's get into some of the details of the shoe. Okay, like I said, it got the uh, Ben 7 kind of like graphics on it, but it's actually, uh, I don't know what you call that when it pops out. Debossed, embossed, I don't know when it comes out. You know what I'm saying? When it's puffing out of the shoe. <laughs> that, it kind of got that vibe going on to it. The midsole is black, and your mountain peaks up here got that purple. It looks like a court purple and yellow. Very uh, Lakers vibes going on uh, on the mountain peaks. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know it's supposed to represent Afro beats, but you can wear these. Like I'm talking about, these are fire, bro. Like, like, like a, a little black midsole come all the way around to the toe box. The bottom of the shoe is always one of the best uh, parts of Jordan 7s. And this one has very uh, Raptor kind of vibes when you think about Raptor 7s or Shrug Game 7s as I like to call them. Y'all already know with the red hits. I, th I wish they would put the red hits somewhere else on the shoe because it's literally just on the bottom and you wouldn't even know this shoe had any red on it uh, by looking at it unless you look at the tongue. So speaking of the tongue, very Afrobeat vibes going on with the tongue. You got that pattern in the back. You got the Jordan in the yellow, and you got the air in the red right there. Excuse my ashy ass knuckles. Um, like I said, this is a size 12. But then you like the um, the whole inside little booty of the shoe, the little Hirachi sock liner inside. Also has the uh, pattern going on on the back as well as y'all can see right there in the very back of the shoe, which is the biggest uh, 
diversion, is that the right word? Is the biggest difference from the Air Jordan, any other Air Jordan 7 you've ever seen for the first time in history. We have a Nike, a stitched Nike Air on the back of a 7. So what's crazy about that to me is, it'd be so many shoes y'all could put Nike Air on the back of, like Jordan 6s, and y'all choose to put the Jumpman on the back. If you can put a stitched Nike Air on a silhouette that don't even, uh, originally have the Stitch Nike Air, y'all can throw that Stitch Nike Air on the back of some of these shoes, like a lot of Jordan 4s that don't have it, a lot of uh, Jordan 6s that don't have it, you can put that on there. But what I will say, it does look good. Even though I prefer the original 23 with the 7 kind of logo that comes on the back of the uh, Jordan 7s, I think this is a nice switch up for this different uh, special edition model, the Afro Beats model, man. So. Like I said, man, ugh, I just like the shoe. 10 out of 10, I ain't even gonna count. 10 out of 10 for me, it, I could be biased because I love Jordan 7s. I could be, I don't know, the Vachetta 10, the hits. The only thing I wish is they would've put the splashes of red somewhere else on the shoe, but I don't even think, it looked like a luxury shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like a high-end sneaker, just because of the Vachetta 10, I always give it gravitas. Hey, you talking about? Give it some some style, some, some swagger. You know what I'm saying? Um, some designer vibes, you know what I'm saying? Only thing I wish, too, besides the fact that I want red to show up on other places, I wish we would've got some kind of extra laces, even though I got, I got purple laces and red laces and stuff like that in, in, in the um, back there somewhere in some of these boxes or over here. I can put in the shoe. I just wish it would have came for some, came with some, especially for the uh, price, retail price of $210. But other than that, man, I'm digging these. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about the Air Jordan 7 uh, Afro Beats, AKA Vachetta Tan Lakers. I don't know. These is vibes to me. I'm feeling them. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, 10 out of 10 in my humble opinion. I will be rocking these shoes. I really like them. Hey, you talking about? Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Comment below and tell me what you think about them. I know I wanted to ask y'all going after them. Oh, real quick before I get get out of here. The back strap is also the Vachetta tan uh, leather as well. And it's kind of a, like a stiffer, you know what I'm saying, pull strap in the back. You know what I'm saying? You usually get that, that material that, um, like a, you know, a strap material, like a book bag strap. But we got the, um, the leather one. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick, early kids from Retro Rick, new air bubble like helium lift, so as to bless, thank God for the gift, yeah, yeah, it's a hit, premium fit, no barbecue, but this is it, hold up, rock, rock, just my hit, with richest kids, I mean my rich, yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them, space jam going on the tune on them, sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them, new heat coming real soon on them, my rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for, thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for, gone, all the way up to the moon on them, What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon.